Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this month's Sephora Play unboxing, and I'm very excited. I literally only cut the sticker open, and it's been sitting on my vanity for like the past four days, and I haven't opened it, and I just cut the sticker open. So I'm very excited to see what's inside because I've seen sneak peeks, and I've seen some people getting a sample of the Hourglass Stick Foundation, which if I get that, I may die because I've been wanting to buy that foundation for a while. But it's just really expensive and I want to try it out first. So if you want to see what's inside this month's box, then please keep on watching. So opening it up, this is what it looks like. It looks like um, a, honestly, like a little periodic table. It has like an avocado oil, has cocoa butter, alpha hydroxy acid, retinol, shea butter, argan oil, hyaluronic acid, and little hugs. That's adorable. So um, I don't really know what the theme is, but this is a really cute little thing. And of course, course we get our little card on the front worth 50 beauty and setter points and um, I think it's a cute little theme I don't want to open that yet because I do not want to spoil what's inside so the bag for this month says makeup geek and I guess it's supposed to be like a little chemist you know she has some test tubes some um, flasks, just some different little things in here so it's kind of cute um, the bag is definitely not the cutest I've seen cuter bags but we're just going to grab the first thing we touch. So first thing is this Corez or Corez, I think it's Corez, Golden Crocus Ageless Elixir, all skin types. I have no idea what this is. I think it's a, like a face serum is what I want to assume it is. Oh, look how cute it is. Yeah, it's a face serum. Um, this is adorable. It is a tiny little dropper. It has a cute like little, it's almost like golden and yellow inside, but um, I'm curious about this. I think the packaging is adorable. I love how little this is. We'll just have to see. It's just a simple skincare item. And then the next thing we have in here, this is, oh, I see people getting this also. If I keep blinking weird, it's because I did a, this is a full face of e.l.f. makeup right now. And the mascara that I use in the video, every time I blink like this, my eyelashes get stuck together. I don't know why the mascara is completely dry and it's a very uncomfortable feeling. But uh, this is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It's a mascara with uh, impact impact something I don't know there's a black side and a white side so the black side says 01 black and the white side says this is a lash building primer so you apply the white side first since it is a mascara primer and then you apply the black side second because it's the actual mascara I do not want to open this yet because if I do then obviously it's gonna start going bad because mascara goes bad as soon as it, like hits air um, but this looks like a really nice size and to be completely honest, it takes me forever to go through a mascara. Like I have to use it religiously to actually completely use up a whole mascara. So I'm pretty excited about this, especially cause it is more high end brand it is Clinique. So next thing we have in here, oh, this is big. Okay. This is the caviar anti-aging miracle multiplying voluminous spray volume and spray voluminizer it's from the brand caviar which just sounds expensive because it seems caviar i think this is a hairspray spray throughout clean towel dried hair prior to blow drying style as usual yes it is a hair product says this multitasking styler del delivers instant and long lasting root to tip volume providing flexible hold and leaving hair touchably soft this is a pretty good size. Um, it is 1.4 fluid ounces. It is a hairspray, not a hairspray, but like a spray for your hair. Um, I'm afraid to honestly like this because it's probably like over $30. And I feel like I've seen this before and looked at it, but um, we'll just kind of have to see. I like volume sprays like this and texturizing sprays because my hair normally is straight and flat. So before I curl it or after I curl it or straighten it, I definitely like to add like volume and everything to my hair. Okay, I'm still hoping for the hourglass foundation here. So, oh, I know what this is. Next thing we have is the mini beauty blender, the micro, I think it's a micro mini one. Um, they literally gave us one and it's full size. Obviously you can't do any less than a beauty blender. You have to give them full size, but it is the original beauty blender micro mini. And this is very exciting. Even though I really do not care for little sponges, I'm glad, oh, this is so soft. Look how small it is. I mean, it is tiny. You can literally smush it between your fingers and never see it. I mean, it is like tiny. Um, I definitely will use it out. I think it's a cute, I just, I love how small it is. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of small beauty blenders like this, but I mean, I did get it in my box, so I might as well give it a shot. Next thing 
is, what is this? This is My Burberry Black Perfume. I think the My, Bur My Burberry Perfume smell really, really good. And um, this one looks nice. Let's spray it. Ooh, so it's definitely more like a woodsy, musky scent to it. It's definitely not like floral and like girly and like fruity. Ooh, that would be really nice for like, I can imagine like the month I would wear this in like October when it's like Halloween and we're like at haunted houses, but it smells really good. And the last thing, which feels like the Hourglass Foundation, and it is, it's the Hourglass Foundation. If it doesn't match me though, I'm going to die inside. This is the Hourglass Banish Seamless Foundation Stick. I have it in the shade Shell. That is the one that they sent me. I am praying. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, what, what? I could probably get like one application with that. Can we just take a second and look how tiny that is? Like, look how, really? I got all excited for like, what, this? I mean, I definitely think it's going to work, but that is the smallest sample of foundation. I think they give you more samples than the little pod, little capsule things when you go to Sephora and actually ask for a sample than this little thing. But I'm not gonna complain because I have been wanting to try this foundation out. So I'm happy I did get it in this month's box. So now to open this little thing, I'll read off just a little bit about every product. Um, for the Micro Mini Beauty Blender, it says a revolutionary mini makeup applicator sponge for highlighting, contouring, and concealing. Perfectly shaped to reach the smallest parts of your face. And then the Clinique Mascara says a two-sided lash primer mascara for longer lasting eye looks and full so soft lustrous lashes. Ever since I had braces, I can't say anything with an S and it's very irritating. Um, the Hourglass Foundation Stick is a highly pigmented foundation with coverage of a concealer, smooth smoothness of a liquid and weightless of a powder. And then that little weird like serum thing, we didn't know what it was. It says a potent and anti-aging serum infused antioxidant rich Greek saffron. I think that's how you say it. Visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines for a youthful smooth complexion. And then the um, caviar hairspray was just that spray. And then the perfume, um, the notes on it, it says the fragrance family is floral, which is surprising because it doesn't really smell floral. The top notes are jasmine, middle notes are candied rose and peach nectar. I definitely smell the peach. And the base notes are amber and patchouli. I definitely smell the amber and the peach though, which I actually really like it. I think for fall, it's going to be nice. So I am actually really happy with this month's box. I think it's a really good variety of different things. We have a mascara, we have a skincare item, we have a hair care item, we have a foundation, and then we also have this little random micro beauty blender thing. That's why I love the four play boxes. They keep getting better and better to me. I know a couple videos back, I think either beginning of, la beginning of this year or end of last year, I said I may want to cancel, but since then they've honestly started to step up their box game for $10 a month. This is a lot of stuff. I think this retails for like $20 alone these little beauty blender things are ridiculously expensive so i hope you guys did enjoy this month's sephora play unboxing i will list the products where you can sign up down below so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video thank you so much for watching please subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye y'all